In this video, I am going to discuss about difference between upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron lesions. Nutrition is usually normal in UMN lesions, but in late stages, disuse atrophy can be seen. In element weakness, atrophy is very common and up to 70% bulk of muscles can be lost. The tone is spastic in UMN lesions, but in acute UMN lesion, there could be hypotonia due to shock stage. LMN lesions usually cause hypotonia, but sometimes it could be normal. In UMN lesions, there is movement paralysis occurring in corticospinal distribution, that is, extensors in upper limb and flexors in lower limb. In LMN lesions, individual muscle paralysis occurs depending on site of LMN involvement. The pattern of weakness in UMN lesion could be hemiparesis, quadriparesis, paraparesis, monoparesis or fasciobrachial weakness and in element lesions it could be generalized, predominantly proximal, predominantly distal or focal. Abnormal movements which can be seen in UMN lesions could be flexor spasms or clonus. Element lesions can cause fasciculations. Superficial reflexes are abnormal in UMN lesions, for example, the plantar reflex is extensor in UMN lesion that is Babinski sign is positive and the plantar is flexor that is Babinski sign is negative in element lesion. Deep tendon reflexes are usually hyperactive and clonus can be seen, however in acute stage they could be absent. Deep tendon reflexes can be hypoactive or absent corresponding to the site of element involvement. Sphincter function is sometimes impaired in UMN lesions but usually normal in element lesions except for the conus cauda lesions. Nerve conduction study and electromyography is normal in UMN lesions and abnormal in element lesions where EMG may show denervation potentials in the form of fibrillations, positive sharp waves or fasciculations.